Hey y'all, if you new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you not new, welcome back, Pooh. So don't forget to hit like, share, comment, and subscribe button and the notifications button and keep watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hey y'all, so today's video is me showing y'all how to do passion twists and Marley braid hair. And yes, it's very much so possible. So I used two packs of the three pack pre stretch hair and it worked out amazing with two packs still left over. I did the rubber band method <clears throat> and it actually came out pretty easy. So right now I'm showing you slow-mo on how to do it. You start off doing a braid, then you just twist all the way at the end. Now I use Eco Styler and Mousse, and it was pretty all right. Jam might be better because Eco Styler does slip. And the Passion Water Wave hair is very silky hair, and I couldn't, my hands couldn't just grip it. With this Marley Twist hair, it's very coarse and very similar to our own texture hair. So it's way much easier for me to braid with this. Okay, so I use a T27 in black and I mix it together because that color is very similar to my ends. So, of course, I did have a little bit showing. So I did wrap it around with rubber bands. And then like the back, I really don't care. So you just do what you prefer to do. Or you get some spray hair color and color the part where your real hair shows if that's how you want to do it. And you'll see that I'm just twisting all that at the end after I get my braid. And after you get the braid, just And the bowman helps make it tight. And then just twist all the way to the end, put in gel when needed, and there you go. So I'm doing the same process as you seen me doing before. Braid it and then start twisting down. And I feel like jam <clears throat> is much better to use than gel because gel is slippery and jam, it has like a thicker consistency. But unfortunately, my jam had melted. So that's why you really don't see me using it throughout the video. And I'm trying to do it in slow-mo because I know a lot of people aren't braiders. But, you know, just try and do it to the best of your abilities is what I was doing. So this is my first time doing the rubber band method, and I actually like it because <clears throat> you obviously can't see in the back of your head, so that just helps, like, you know, you're gripping the right parts. It's already sectioned. It's already parted. Most people just go ahead and do the rubber band method throughout their whole head. I did it as I went just to help me, you know. And don't get discouraged while you're doing this because it takes time, it takes practice, and it takes patience. Which I, do, I only have one out of the three. I only have time. I don't have patience, you know. So you just got to work with it. It's going to do what it wants to do at the end of the day. Just do the best that you can and it'll look fine either way. So this, like I said earlier, this hair is very dry. So I do have our protective style prep video. And I'm going to link that in the description box because you don't need dry hair adding on top of more dry hair. So you have different color hair and different color frames like that. Go over it with the rubber band and you won't be able to see it no more. And then start twisting. As you twist it, it's going to get tighter. I dipped my ends. So I wanted a medium size, but they came out kind of big, but I'm still cool with that. 